Disclaimer. Dear listeners, please be aware that this article is for information purpose only and may not in a whole holds the final facts or figures concerning the subject matter. Everyone is strongly advised to carry out their own research into the subject before making a final decision about this article. We are not responsible for any loss or damage you may suffer as a result of this article. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, that will be greatly appreciated. In this article we are going to delve into the study of the world's largest rivers and their unique characteristic, tranquilities and attractions. The Amazon River, located in Brazil, is an awe-inspiring natural wonder that captivates the imagination with its vastness and ecological significance. Spanning a staggering length of approximately 6,400 kilometers, 4,000 miles, it is recognized as the longest river in South America and the largest river in the world by volume. The Amazon River originates high in the Peruvian Andes and winds its way through Brazil, flowing eastward across the entire width of the country before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. Its extensive drainage basin covers an astonishing 7 million square kilometers, 2.7 million square miles, making it the largest in the world. The Amazon River Basin encompasses various ecosystems, including dense rainforests, savannas, swamps, and floodplains, creating a biodiversity hotspot of global importance. The river's sheer volume is truly staggering. During the wet season, its flow can exceed 300,000 cubic meters, 10.6 million cubic feet, per second, accounting for approximately 20% of the world's total river discharge into the ocean. This immense volume is the result of heavy rainfall in the region, which sustains the Amazon rainforest, often referred to as the lungs of the earth, due to its crucial role in producing oxygen and sequestering carbon dioxide. The Amazon River is not only vital for maintaining the delicate ecological balance of the region but also holds immense cultural and economic significance for Brazil and its neighboring countries. Indigenous communities have long depended on the river for their livelihoods, utilizing its resources for food, transportation, and cultural practices. Additionally, the river serves as a crucial waterway for trade, enabling the transportation of goods and connecting remote communities in the Amazon basin to larger cities and markets. Exploring the Amazon River and its surrounding rainforest is a breathtaking experience, offering a glimpse into an unparalleled natural world teeming with diverse wildlife, including jaguars, pink river dolphins, toucans, and countless other species. However, it is essential to recognize the environmental challenges facing the Amazon such as deforestation, illegal logging, and land encroachment, which threaten its delicate ecosystem. Efforts are being made to protect and conserve the Amazon River and its surrounding rainforest through conservation initiatives, research projects, and sustainable development practices. The river continues to be a symbol of wonder, ecological importance, and the interdependence between nature and humanity. Russia. The Volga River, situated in Russia, is the longest river in Europe and flows through several major Russian cities. The Volga River, situated in Russia, is a mighty waterway that traverses a significant portion of the country, playing a vital role in its history, culture, and economy. Spanning a length of approximately 3,530 kilometers, 2,193 miles, the Volga River is widely recognized as the longest river in Europe. Originating in the Valdai Hills northwest of Moscow, the Volga flows southward, passing through several major Russian cities, including Tver, Yaroslavl, Nizhny Novgorod, Kazan, Samara, and Volgograd, before ultimately emptying into the Caspian Sea. Its drainage basin covers an extensive area of around 1.4 million square kilometers, 540,000 square miles, encompassing a diverse range of landscapes, from forested regions to vast steppes. The Volga River holds immense cultural and historical significance for Russia. It has played a pivotal role in shaping the country's development, acting as a crucial trade route connecting different regions throughout history. The river served as a major transportation artery, facilitating the movement of goods, people, and ideas between the Baltic Sea and the Caspian Sea. It was a vital link for trade with the Middle East and Central Asia, contributing to the growth of cities and towns along its banks. Along with its economic importance, the Volga River has been a source of inspiration for artists, writers, and musicians throughout the centuries. 
It has been immortalized in countless works of literature, paintings, and songs, serving as a symbol of Russia's vastness and natural beauty. Many river cruises and tours allow visitors to experience the enchanting landscapes and historical sites along the Volga, offering a unique perspective on the country's rich heritage. The Volga River and its surrounding areas are also home to a diverse array of flora and fauna. The river supports a variety of fish species, including sturgeon, perch, pike, and roach, making it a popular destination for fishing enthusiasts. The wetlands and marshes along its banks provide vital habitats for numerous bird species, such as herons, swans, and ducks, attracting birdwatchers from around the world. However, the Volga River has faced various environmental challenges over the years. Pollution, industrial activities, and agricultural runoff have impacted its water quality and ecosystems. Efforts are underway to address these issues, including wastewater treatment initiatives and conservation measures, to protect the ecological integrity of the river and its surroundings. In conclusion, the Volga River holds a prominent place in Russian history, culture, and commerce. As the longest river in Europe, it weaves through diverse landscapes, connects major cities, and symbolizes the nation's enduring spirit. From trade and transportation to recreation and environmental conservation, the Volga continues to be a dynamic force shaping the lives of those who live along its banks. China, the Yangtze River, also known as the Changzhong, is the longest river in Asia and the third longest in the world. The Yangtze River, also known as the Changzhong, is an iconic waterway in China that holds great historical, cultural, and ecological significance. With a length of approximately 6,300 kilometers, 3,915 miles, it is the longest river in Asia and the third longest in the world, after the Nile and the Amazon. Originating from the glaciers on the Tibetan Plateau, the Yangtze River flows eastward through a vast portion of China, passing through several provinces and major cities, including Chongqing, Wuhan, and Shanghai, before emptying into the East China Sea. Its extensive drainage basin covers around 1.8 million square kilometers, 695,000 square miles, accounting for one-fifth of China's total land area. The Yangtze River has played a crucial role in shaping the history and development of China. It has been a lifeline for transportation, facilitating trade, cultural exchange, and migration throughout the centuries. The river served as a vital trade route, connecting inland regions with coastal areas and facilitating economic growth and cultural integration along its course. Alongside its economic significance, the Yangtze River is also a repository of rich cultural heritage. It has been the subject of countless poems, paintings, and stories, serving as a source of inspiration for Chinese artists and writers. The Three Gorges, a scenic stretch of the river, is particularly renowned for its breathtaking natural beauty and has attracted visitors from around the world. The Yangtze River is home to a diverse array of flora and fauna, including several endangered species. The river supports over 350 fish species, including the critically endangered Chinese paddlefish and the Yangtze River dolphin, also known as the Beiji, which unfortunately is now considered functionally extinct. The river's wetlands and lakes provide essential habitats for migratory birds and other wildlife. In recent years, the Yangtze River has faced significant environmental challenges due to industrialization, pollution, and dam construction. The Three Gorges Dam, one of the largest hydropower projects in the world, was built on the Yangtze River, bringing both benefits and concerns about its ecological impact and displacement of local communities. Efforts are being made to address these environmental issues and protect the Yangtze River's ecological integrity. Conservation initiatives, water pollution control measures, and the establishment of nature reserves aim to preserve the river's unique ecosystems and safeguard its biodiversity. In summary, the Yangtze River stands as a symbol of China's history, culture, and natural heritage. As the longest river in Asia and the third longest in the world, it has been a lifeline for the country, connecting regions and people throughout its course. While facing environmental challenges, the Yangtze River continues to inspire awe and reverence, reminding us of the interplay between human civilization and the forces of nature. United States. The Mississippi River, running through the United States, is one of the longest rivers in North America. The Mississippi River, 
running through the heart of the United States, is a mighty waterway that holds immense historical, economic, and cultural significance. It is one of the longest rivers in North America, stretching approximately 3,780 kilometers, 2,350 miles, from its headwaters in Minnesota to its delta in the Gulf of Mexico. The Mississippi River and its tributaries drain a vast portion of the central United States, forming one of the most extensive river systems in the world. Its watershed covers around 3.2 million square kilometers, 1.2 million square miles, encompassing parts of 31 U.S. states and two Canadian provinces. Since ancient times, the Mississippi River has played a crucial role in shaping the history and development of North America. Native American cultures thrived along its banks, utilizing its resources for sustenance, transportation, and trade. In the 17th century, European explorers, such as Hernando de Soto and Jacques Marquette, ventured along the river, leading to increased colonization and the establishment of trading posts and settlements. The Mississippi River became a vital trade route during the 19th century, serving as a commercial artery for goods and agricultural products. Steamboats navigated its waters, carrying goods and passengers between various riverfront cities, including St. Louis, Memphis, and New Orleans. The river facilitated the growth of these cities and played a significant role in the westward expansion of the United States. The Mississippi River has also been immortalized in literature, music, and art, becoming a symbol of American identity. Mark Twain, one of America's most celebrated writers, drew inspiration from the river for his famous novel, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, capturing the essence of life along the Mississippi in the 19th century. The river's influence can be felt in American folk music, particularly in blues and jazz, which originated in the Mississippi Delta region. The diverse ecosystems supported by the Mississippi River are home to a wide array of plant and animal species. The river and its floodplains provide habitats for numerous migratory birds, fish species, and other wildlife. The Mississippi Flyway, a major bird migration route, follows the river, attracting bird watchers and nature enthusiasts. However, the Mississippi River faces several environmental challenges, including pollution, habitat loss, and the impacts of agricultural runoff. Human activities, such as industrial waste and the extensive use of fertilizers, have contributed to water quality issues and the formation of a large, dead zone, in the Gulf of Mexico. Efforts are underway to address these environmental concerns and protect the ecological integrity of the Mississippi River. Conservation initiatives, habitat restoration projects, and water management strategies aim to preserve the river's natural resources and ensure its sustainability for future generations. In conclusion, the Mississippi River stands as a symbol of America's history, economic vitality, and cultural heritage. Its role as a major trade route, its influence on literature and music, and its ecological significance make it an enduring icon of the United States. As efforts continue to preserve and protect the river's resources, the Mississippi remains a testament to the interconnectedness between human society and the natural world. Argentina. The Parana River, flowing through Argentina, is the second longest river in South America, after the Amazon. The Parana River, flowing through Argentina, is a prominent waterway that boasts impressive dimensions and plays a vital role in the country's geography and economy. With a length of approximately 4,880 kilometers, 3,032 miles, it is the second longest river in South America, following the mighty Amazon. The Parana River originates in Brazil, near the border with Paraguay, and forms part of the natural boundary between Argentina and Paraguay for a significant stretch. It then flows southward through Argentina, passing through major cities such as Corrientes, Rosario, and the capital city of Buenos Aires, before merging with the Uruguay River and ultimately emptying into the Rio de la Plata estuary. The Parana River, along with its tributaries, forms an extensive network of waterways that traverses various landscapes, including wetlands, forests, and grasslands. Its drainage basin covers a vast area of approximately 2.8 million square kilometers, 1.1 million square miles, influencing the ecosystems and biodiversity of the regions it flows through. The river's importance to Argentina's economy cannot be overstated. It serves as a crucial transportation route for agricultural goods, 
such as soybeans, corn, and wheat, which are major exports for the country. Barges and vessels navigate the Piranha River, connecting inland regions with export terminals along the river and enabling the efficient transport of goods to international markets. The Piranha River is also renowned for its ecological richness. The river and its surrounding wetlands, known as the Piranha Delta, harbor diverse wildlife, including numerous fish species, caimans, capybaras, and a wide array of bird species. It is a haven for nature enthusiasts, offering opportunities for birdwatching, boating, and exploring unique ecosystems. The river's influence extends beyond its natural wonders. The Piranha River has played a significant role in shaping Argentina's cultural heritage. The river and its shores have been home to indigenous communities for thousands of years, leaving behind traces of their rich history and traditions. The Piranha Delta region, with its unique geography and wildlife, has also inspired artists, writers, and filmmakers, serving as a backdrop for many creative works. Environmental conservation is a key concern for the Piranha River and its associated ecosystems. Deforestation, pollution, and the alteration of river flows due to human activities pose challenges to the river's ecological balance. Efforts are underway to protect and preserve the river's natural resources, including the establishment of protected areas and sustainable management practices. In summary, the Piranha River stands as a formidable waterway coursing through Argentina, leaving an indelible mark on the country's landscapes, economy, and culture. From its role in facilitating trade and transportation to its ecological significance and recreational opportunities, the river continues to shape the lives of those who live along its banks and offers a glimpse into the natural wonders of South America. Canada. The Mackenzie River, located in Canada, is the longest river in North America and flows through the Northwest Territories. The Mackenzie River, located in Canada, is a majestic watercourse that traverses the vast northern landscapes of the country. With a length of approximately 4,241 kilometers, 2,635 miles, it holds the distinction of being the longest river in North America. Originating from the Great Slave Lake in the Northwest Territories, the Mackenzie River flows northward, cutting through the rugged terrain of the Canadian Shield and the Mackenzie Mountains. It then turns westward, meandering through a vast expanse of boreal forests, tundra, and wetlands before finally reaching the Beaufort Sea in the Arctic Ocean. The Mackenzie River Basin covers an expansive area of approximately 1.8 million square kilometers, 700,000 square miles, making it one of the largest drainage basins in North America. It is a land of diverse ecosystems, ranging from boreal forests and wetlands to Arctic tundra, providing habitats for a wide array of plant and animal species. The river has been of great importance to the indigenous peoples of the region, including the Dean and Inuvialuit communities, who have relied on its resources for sustenance, transportation, and cultural practices for thousands of years. Traditionally, the Mackenzie River served as a vital trade route, enabling the exchange of goods and ideas among different indigenous groups. The Mackenzie River and its tributaries also support a rich biodiversity. The river is home to various fish species, including Arctic grayling, northern pike, and whitefish, providing an important food source for both wildlife and local communities. It is a significant migratory route for birds, such as ducks, geese, and swans, and offers critical nesting grounds for numerous waterfowl species. The river has also played a role in the history of European exploration and fur trade in Canada. In the 18th and 19th centuries, fur traders, such as Alexander Mackenzie, ventured along the river, seeking new trading routes and expanding the fur trade network in the region. The Mackenzie River's vastness and remoteness have captivated the imaginations of explorers and adventurers throughout history. However, the Mackenzie River faces environmental challenges, including the impacts of climate change and resource extraction activities. The warming climate has led to changes in the river's flow patterns and the melting of permafrost, affecting the river's ecosystems and the communities that rely on them. Efforts are underway to study and mitigate these challenges, with a focus on sustainable management and conservation. In summary, the Mackenzie River stands as a testament to Canada's vast and pristine natural landscapes. As the longest river in North America, 
It weaves through diverse ecosystems and holds immense cultural and ecological value for the indigenous communities and wildlife of the region. While facing environmental pressures, the Mackenzie River continues to be a symbol of the untamed wilderness and the interconnectedness between nature and human history. Congo. The Congo River, found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, is the second largest river in the world by volume and is Africa's deepest river. The Congo River, located in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, is an extraordinary waterway that traverses the heart of Africa. It holds several impressive distinctions, including being the second largest river in the world by volume and the deepest river in Africa. Spanning a length of approximately 4,700 kilometers, 2,920 miles, the Congo River is a lifeline for both the people and the diverse ecosystems of the region. It originates from the highlands of northeastern Zambia, where it is known as the Shambeshi River, and then converges with the Lualaba River to form the mighty Congo. From there, it flows westward through the DRC, passing through dense rainforests, expansive savannas, and vibrant wetlands before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. The Congo River is renowned for its remarkable volume of water. It discharges approximately 41,000 cubic meters, 1,450,000 cubic feet, of water per second, making it the second largest river in the world by this measure, only surpassed by the Amazon. The river's immense flow is attributed to the region's abundant rainfall and the vast network of tributaries that contribute to its volume. One of the notable features of the Congo River is its exceptional depth. It holds the title of Africa's deepest river, with certain sections plunging to depths of over 220 meters, 720 feet. The presence of deep channels and gorges throughout the river's course contributes to its impressive depth and makes it a challenging waterway to navigate. The Congo River and its surrounding rainforests are home to a remarkable array of plant and animal species. The region is known for its rich biodiversity, harboring iconic wildlife such as chimpanzees, bonobos, gorillas, elephants, and a wide variety of bird species. The river itself hosts diverse fish populations, including the Congo tetra, electric catfish, and various cichlid species. The river's importance extends beyond its ecological significance. It has played a pivotal role in shaping the history and culture of the region. The Congo River Basin has been inhabited by numerous indigenous groups for thousands of years, including the Bantu peoples. The river has served as a means of transportation, trade, and cultural exchange, enabling connections between different communities and fostering the development of vibrant societies. However, the Congo River faces environmental challenges and developmental pressures. Deforestation, illegal mining activities, and pollution threaten the delicate balance of the river's ecosystems. Additionally, the construction of hydroelectric dams, such as the Inga dams, has raised concerns about their potential impact on local communities and the river's ecological integrity. Efforts are being made to address these challenges and promote sustainable development in the Congo River Basin. Conservation initiatives, such as protected areas and community-based conservation projects, aim to preserve the region's unique biodiversity and protect the livelihoods of local communities. In summary, the Congo River stands as a monumental natural wonder in Africa, renowned for its impressive volume, depth, and ecological importance. As the second largest river in the world by volume and Africa's deepest river, it has shaped the landscapes, cultures, and histories of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. While facing environmental pressures, the Congo River continues to be a symbol of the region's natural heritage and the vital role that rivers play in sustaining life and fostering human connections. India. The Ganges River, flowing through India and Bangladesh, is considered sacred by Hindus and is one of the most populous river basins in the world. The Ganges River, flowing through India and Bangladesh, holds immense cultural, religious, and ecological significance. Revered as a sacred river by Hindus, it is considered the lifeline of the Indian subcontinent. With a length of approximately 2,525 kilometers, 1,569 miles, the Ganges is not only a physical entity but also a spiritual and cultural icon. The Ganges River, known as Ganga in India, originates from the Gangotri Glacier in the state of Uttarakhand, in the Himalayas. 
It then descends through the northern plains of India, passing through the states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and West Bengal, before eventually emptying into the Bay of Bengal in Bangladesh. For millions of Hindus, the Ganges is more than a river. It is a goddess, Ganga Ma. It is believed to have descended from the heavens to cleanse the sins of humanity and bestow spiritual blessings. Pilgrims from all over the world visit the river's banks to bathe in its sacred waters, seeking purification and salvation. The cities of Varanasi, Allahabad, now Prayagraj, and Haridwar are particularly significant as major pilgrimage sites along the river. The Ganges River Basin is one of the most populous in the world, supporting a dense population that relies on its waters for drinking, irrigation, and daily rituals. The river sustains agriculture, serving as a vital source of water for farming in the fertile plains of northern India. However, rapid urbanization, industrialization, and population growth have led to significant pollution and challenges in maintaining the river's water quality. Efforts are underway to address the environmental issues facing the Ganges. The Indian government launched the Namami Gange, Clean Ganga, program, a comprehensive initiative aimed at conserving and rejuvenating the river. It includes measures to control pollution, improve wastewater treatment, and promote awareness about the importance of the river's ecological health. The Ganges River Basin supports diverse ecosystems and is a haven for a wide range of plant and animal species. The river and its surrounding wetlands provide habitats for numerous aquatic creatures, including the endangered Ganges River dolphin, freshwater turtles, and various fish species. The river basin is also an important migratory route for numerous bird species, attracting bird watchers and nature enthusiasts. Beyond its religious and ecological significance, the Ganges River has played a pivotal role in shaping the history and culture of the region. It has been a hub of trade and commerce, fostering the growth of ancient cities and civilizations along its banks. The Ganges has been immortalized in literature, music, and art, serving as a muse for countless poets, writers, and artists throughout history. In conclusion, the Ganges River stands as an embodiment of spirituality, cultural heritage, and environmental importance in India and Bangladesh. Its sacredness to Hindus, its role as a lifeline for millions of people, and its ecological diversity make it a symbol of both devotion and conservation. As efforts continue to address pollution and protect the river's resources, the Ganges remains an enduring symbol of India's rich cultural tapestry and the interplay between humanity and nature. Australia. The Murray-Darling River System, situated in Australia, is the country's longest river system and a vital water source for agricultural regions. The Murray-Darling River System, located in Australia, is an extensive network of rivers and waterways that encompasses the country's longest river system. It plays a crucial role in Australia's ecology, economy, and water management. The Murray River and the Darling River are the primary rivers within the Murray-Darling Basin. The Murray River stretches for approximately 2,530 kilometres, 1,570 miles, from the Australian Alps in southeastern Australia, while the Darling River flows for approximately 1,472 kilometres, 915 miles, from northern New South Wales to its confluence with the Murray River in the state of Victoria. The Murray-Darling Basin covers a vast area of approximately 1 million square kilometres, 386,000 square miles, spanning four Australian states, New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, and South Australia. It is one of the driest regions on the continent and encompasses diverse landscapes, including forests, grasslands, wetlands, and arid zones. The Murray-Darling River system is a vital water source for agricultural regions within the basin. Its waters are used for irrigation, supplying water to a wide range of crops, including citrus fruits, grapes, rice, and various grains. Agriculture in the basin contributes significantly to Australia's economy, making the river system crucial for food production and export. The river system also supports a diverse range of ecosystems and wildlife. Wetlands, such as the Barma Milewa Forest and the Korong, provide critical habitats for waterbirds, fish, and other aquatic species. The basin is home to several endemic species, including the Murray cod and the Murray turtle, which rely on the river system for their survival. 
Water management is a significant challenge within the Murray-Darling Basin due to its limited water resources and competing demands. Droughts, climate variability, and overuse of water resources have placed strain on the river system's ecological health. Efforts are being made to improve water efficiency, restore wetlands, and ensure sustainable water management practices. The Murray-Darling River system is also of cultural importance to Indigenous Australians. Aboriginal communities have lived along its banks for thousands of years, relying on the river's resources for sustenance and cultural practices. The river system holds deep spiritual significance and forms an integral part of Indigenous cultural heritage. Recreationally, the Murray-Darling River system offers opportunities for boating, fishing, camping, and nature appreciation. It attracts tourists from around Australia and beyond, drawn to its scenic beauty, diverse wildlife, and the chance to experience the unique landscapes of the region. In conclusion, the Murray-Darling River system stands as a vital water source, an ecological treasure, and a cultural icon in Australia. It sustains agriculture, supports diverse ecosystems, and holds immense value for indigenous communities. While facing challenges related to water management and environmental sustainability, efforts are ongoing to ensure the long-term health and prosperity of this significant river system. Peru, the Ucayali River, part of the Amazon River system, runs through Peru and is one of the major tributaries of the Amazon. The Ucayali River, located in Peru, is a significant tributary of the mighty Amazon River. It is formed by the confluence of the Aporomac and Yurubamba rivers in the Peruvian Andes and flows northeastward through the Amazon rainforest, eventually joining the Marañón River to form the main stem of the Amazon. With a length of approximately 1,771 kilometers, 1,100 miles, the Ucayali River serves as a vital artery in the Amazon River system. It is one of the primary contributors to the volume and flow of water in the Amazon, adding its waters to the colossal network of rivers that make up the largest river system in the world. The Ucayali River traverses the diverse landscapes of Peru, passing through remote rainforests, lowland swamps, and tropical floodplains. It provides essential habitats for numerous species of plants and animals, contributing to the remarkable biodiversity of the Amazon rainforest. The river and its surrounding forests are home to a vast array of wildlife, including jaguars, tapirs, macaws, caimans, and various monkey species. The river's waters support diverse fish populations, including the renowned peish, arapaima, one of the largest freshwater fish species in the world. The Ucayali River has long been integral to the lives and cultures of indigenous communities in the region. Indigenous peoples, such as the Shipibo Konibo and Ashaninka, have established settlements along the riverbanks, relying on its resources for sustenance, transportation, and cultural practices. The river serves as a source of food, water, and livelihoods for these communities, and their traditional knowledge contributes to the conservation and sustainable management of the river and its ecosystems. The Ucayali River has also played a role in the exploration and economic development of Peru. During the colonial era, Spanish conquistadors ventured along the river in search of riches and trading routes. In more recent times, the river has been a hub for timber extraction, oil exploration, and mineral mining activities, which have had both positive and negative impacts on the region's environment and communities. Conservation efforts are underway to protect the Ucayali River and the surrounding rainforest from deforestation, habitat destruction, and pollution. Various national parks and reserves, such as the Pacaya Samiria National Reserve, aim to safeguard the river's unique ecosystems and promote sustainable practices. In summary, the Ucayali River stands as a vital part of the Amazon River system, flowing through the diverse landscapes of Peru. It sustains the rich biodiversity of the Amazon rainforest, supports indigenous communities, and has played a role in the country's history and economic development. Protecting and managing this river and its ecosystems are essential for the conservation of the Amazon and the well-being of the communities that depend on it. In conclusion, the world is blessed with a diverse array of majestic rivers that hold great significance in terms of geography, culture, and ecology. These rivers, such as the Amazon in Brazil, the Volga in Russia, the Yangtze in China, the Mississippi in the United States, the Piranha in Argentina, 
the Mackenzie in Canada, and the Congo in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, exemplify the awe-inspiring power and beauty of nature's waterways. These rivers shape landscapes, provide vital water resources, support thriving ecosystems, and have played pivotal roles in the development of human civilizations. They serve as lifelines for countless communities, offering transportation, irrigation for agriculture, and opportunities for economic growth. Moreover, they hold deep cultural and religious significance, inspiring myths, legends, and spiritual practices. However, these great rivers also face challenges in the form of pollution, habitat destruction, overexploitation of resources, and the impacts of climate change. Efforts to protect and conserve these rivers and their ecosystems are of paramount importance for the well-being of both nature and humanity. It is crucial to balance the utilization of these resources with sustainable practices and responsible management to ensure their longevity and the preservation of their invaluable contributions to our planet. As we recognize the significance of these mighty rivers, let us appreciate their magnificence and acknowledge our role in safeguarding their health and vitality for generations to come. By embracing conservation efforts, promoting sustainable development, and fostering a deep respect for these natural wonders, we can ensure that these rivers continue to flow as symbols of life, unity, and the remarkable power of the natural world. Thanks for watching.